did you sign one of the two punters uh, to the practice squad that, that tried out this week? Yeah, we did. We uh, signed uh, Ryan Wislow as a, a precautionary because uh, you guys, as you know, like Kyle said, Mitch is in the protocol, so we'll see how that goes. But we did sign Ryan Wislow, who's punted and has some experience this year punting, and uh, he's a good player. Quick uh, Robbie Gold question. H how much punting does he get in during a week, during an off season? It seemed like he uh, kind of picked that up very – uh, or it was easy for him almost uh, in that game. Yeah, well, you can ask Robbie about offseason uh, uh, punting, but he uh, Robbie's an athlete, and he can punt, he can throw, uh, he can do all of those different things, and he prides himself on being more than just a kicker. He prides himself on being a football player and uh, knowing all facets of the game. So it it doesn't surprise me um, that he was able to go in and, and help us uh, win the football game there. And he did a very nice job, and uh, we're really proud uh, that he was awarded NMC Special Teams Player of the Week as a team, and uh, all of the guys are uh, fired up about that. So that's uh, it's definitely a good thing. Another part of that equation was Kyle Juszczyk coming in there and holding. That's a lot of pressure on a guy in a game that's so big. <laughs> what did he – how did he approach it? How did he, did he come up and talk to you? Did he seem nervous or was he fine about everything? Yeah, uh, good question, Jen. Um, Kyle is, Juice is always uh, in tune with every situation. He knows if uh, someone goes down like Mitch that he has to hold. And uh, Juice is a consummate pro. Uh, there's no nervousness in him at all uh, because he's ready for that situation. I mean, just to, to kind of highlight what type of pro he is, Juice has worked on that uh, every every week, every Thursday when everybody goes in. Uh, after practice, he never complains about it. He's done it, you know, every Thursday for the last five years. So when he's gotten into that situation, he's ready to go, and he's confident, and he did a phenomenal job uh, getting Robbie laces, and Tabor Pepper stepped his game up uh, to another level as well. Uh, giving him all great balls to put down. But that is a tremendously difficult situation for Juice to be in. Uh, Robbie and Pep as well. And those guys uh, those guys did what they needed to do to help the football team. And we're playing January ball is what we want to do. So, Richard, Richard, I'm sure one of the things you like about Mitch is his willingness to kind of stick his nose in there in certain situations. Obviously, the, the flip side of that is that it can lead to – things like what happened on Sunday. What, what is the fine line there in terms of what you want Mitch uh, to be willing and able to do in those situations? Yeah, we never we never want any player to to, to put put their self in harm's way by lowering their head. That's just we just coach. And I'm not saying Mitch did on that particular play. Uh, but you just want to turn it back to the help, to the pursuit. Um, and if he can get him down, great. He can get him down. But really, I'm not – upset with Mitch on that play uh, in terms of his willingness to 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 try to make a play there. Uh, would love for him to not have to make a play and us to cover the field uh, and not get stacked, um, which is what we've been really good at here on punt coverage. So the guys are really upset that they finished in the top ten when they should have finished in the top five. They, were, they had a goal that they were chasing to beat the uh, – the record that was set here in year one when uh, those guys were top in the league, and I think someone told me they finished uh, seventh in the history of the National Football League as many years as football has been played. So they're, they're, they're upset about that play, and they're upset that ball got to Mitch. But um, we, got, we got it corrected, and we're ready to move forward. You said uh, Tabor Pepper took his game to to a different level. Can can you just elaborate uh, on what that means uh, to a layman and, and from a from a long snapper? Yeah. So on uh, field goal snaps, which some people call short snaps, uh, in particular, you would like the laces to be to be between ten and two if you were looking at a clock, uh, and it, the the closer you can get them to twelve, the more. They're straight away facing the goalpost, which is the way uh, the kicker likes the ball because if he can strike it there at the sweet spot of the ball, 
then it has got a better chance of traveling and going through the uprights. And Pep was right on. He was dead on for Juice. And uh, he was between 10 and 2, if not at 12, at uh, d damn near all five of those snaps. So uh, just him taking it to that level, knowing the moment, uh, feeling the moment, and being excited for the moment, I'm so happy for Pepper and I'm happy for, for uh, obviously, uh, Juice, Robbie, and the whole rest of the field goal team.